trying to find a perfect spot for uh, a backdrop the challenge is though that it's uh, drizzling a little so it's going to be a little bit challenging to shoot outdoors but we'll give it a try though okay Hare Krishna so fun fact about eight months ago there was an event the new year of the Odia community Odia if you do not know Odisha is a state in India and the people there are called Odias just like China Chinese like that and uh, for their new year celebrations they invited us to give a very brief talk uh, literally very brief <laughs> it was only uh, I think about 10 minutes we were allowed and uh, for the first four to five minutes Vishwambar Prabhu had introduced them to the Rathyatra celebrations because remember it's eight months back so I'm releasing it only in December but actually it happened on the 6th of April 2019 yeah sorry for the delay <laughs> but yeah so he were, he announced the Rathyatra festival in Odia language जगन्नाथ <laughs> Lateri, Vijay Kala, Daru Brahma Rupena, very very voice no poet Manakoj and the Joga Mohana Rupena, Beni Bude, Beni Bude, Teki Prabhu, Jatu as a son of Prabhunkara Hatha, Prabhunkara Beni Bude, Jagannat Mahaprabhu, Afron Saranaga to pay Dakuchan, the Afron Saranaga to Hondi Mopakare, Telu Prabhunkara, Jagannatra Tatra, Afron Kosamastan, the Nimatra, the Raila, Samastas, Jagannatra Tatra. So after that, I was given the chance to speak. And I decided to speak on culture because it was all about cultural performances and that's what the whole um, um, festival was about. And so... <coughs> Hare Krishna. Jai Jagannath. Um, you have to excuse me because uh, I'm not Odia. So, uh, <laughs> I will speak in English. But I'm very glad, but I'm very glad to be here in this uh, Utkal Divas uh, festival. Originally, hi, I'm from Hyderabad. I'm Tattva with Das. So I've been here uh, with Sri Krishna Mandir for the past about 12 years now, since 2007. So uh, basically, the best thing about Odia, Odisha or Odia culture is that Odisha is the headquarters of the Lord of the Universe. <laughs> you know. Jagannath, Jagadir Nath, Jagannath. So Jagannath, although he is a state deity, he is actually the deity of the entire universe. You see? And you all are, you all are fortunate that Jagannath culture is so uh, entwined in every aspect of Odisha culture. I was very happy to see the inauguration ceremony based on the, you know, the Jagannath and the Mahabharata. Beautiful. Beautiful. So this is... One thing I want to talk about, culture. We are here to celebrate culture, isn't it? So what actually is culture? Culture, when you talk about culture, so let's say agriculture. When you say agriculture, you have seeds, you have water, you have so many aspects to it. But there is one goal. What's the difference between agriculture and forestry? A forest and a farm. Forest, just anything grows. But when you say agriculture, there is a, the farmer, what he does, he, he takes care of the conditions so that a particular crop will grow. Whereas in the forest, anything can grow. 
So when we say culture, there has to be an aim to that. So we, we term culture as dance, music. Yes, this is part of what is the aim of all these things. That has to be understood. So that as, of course, in Jagannath culture, in Orisha culture, everything is aimed at Lord Jagannath. And I'm very happy. I don't see it anywhere. I'm not against any. But in no state uh, celebrations or language celebration is the Lord right on the stage like that. So this is the best thing. <laughs> So this is how we must honor the Lord in every aspect of our life. So at Sri Krishna Mandir, I think how many of you actually know Sri Krishna Mandir exists in Singapore? Oh, I'm surprised. <laughs> so for those who do not know, so we are located at Geelang Lorong 29, building number 9 on the third floor. So we have many festivals, or not only festivals, we have a regular culture based on this aim of life. The aim of life as it is mentioned, you know, the, I was very happy, Krishna Chandraji and you know, the, the whole Gita, uh, Gita Jayantik committee was so actively involved in many years and they have headed the, <laughs> the committee, I mean the, the organizing of the Gita Jayanti. This is very good. This is actually what needs to be done, that we have to, and also he was saying that every year the Gita Jayanti is being organized by different societies all over India. So this is one scripture. One book, one sacred scripture that binds all of us and the one Lord that binds all of us. He is not only the Lord of Orissa, He is the Lord of the entire universe. So it's not only for the Hindus or the universe, when you say universe, all species. In Bhagavad Gita, Sarva Yonishu Kaunteya, of all species, Aham Bija Pradha Pita, Krishna says, I am the father of everyone, of all species. So, this culture, all these things tie up to one thing because we as Atma are part and parcel of the Paramatma. Mamai Vamsu Jiva Loke Jiva Bhuta Sanatana. That's why our dharma is called not Hinduism, Sanatan Dharma. Sanatan Dharma means there is no end, there is no beginning, nothing. It's and it's good for all times and all places. That is Sanatan Dharma. So based on Sanatan Dharma. At Sri Krishna Mandir, we conduct all our activities. In fact, we have Bhagavad Gita classes every day at our temple. Every day. And you can come, especially on Sundays. We have, especially on Sundays, we have uh, from 6 to 9, regular Bhagavad Gita classes. You see, this is one thing. We all are securing our future. All of you have come here, all the way from Odisha, to work here. What for? To build our future, your future, your children's future. So one thing is the material education and you know the, the financial everything Both aspect of it. Work, yes, yes, just yes. one second. <laughs> Less than one minute. Sure. I'm done. Please go ahead. <laughs> so what we are offering, what we are offering is the spiritual aspect of it. So this also you please secure for your own future, for your children's future, for the whole generations. So please come. You can also become a patron of our society. We, we request uh, just one dollar a day. That, that's our patron uh, charges. So you can also support this Sanatan Dharma, the preaching that we are doing, Prachar. So that will be a great seva. So this is my humble request to all of you. And uh, sorry for overshooting this time. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Hare Krishna. Jai Jagannath. Thank you, Sri Krishna Mandir There you have it. As you know, I can't stop speaking when I start, and that's exactly what happened. Uh, in fact, it was very short of a time, just five minutes. Um, but yeah, I want to continue on that note where I left off. That culture is the thing under the thing. Now, what we see as architecture, dance forms, music, it's all the manifestations of the mood of a person. So if a boy gifts a bouquet to a girl or throws a surprise party for her, now the beauty of the bouquet or the, the party or whatever, that will be very nice. But the thing under the thing, what is it that drove that person to offer such a nice presentation? It's the love, it's the mood of that person. And that's what really matters and that is the culture 
and whatever we see as a manifestation of that is the outpourings of the soul another example i would give is um now in the corporate culture culture now in the corporate circles uh, they say company culture what is company culture the mood that permeates a company how people want to behave with within with themselves in that company so that a healthy mood is uh, promoted so in some companies there's not much attention and then it becomes out of control so when we say culture at any point it's always uh, about the aim what is the aim of the whole endeavor in the context of vedic culture all the architecture the dance forms all the equi i'm sorry about that all the exquisite architecture of the temples of, if you see the old temples of beautiful architecture and then the dance forms the music the art there's so much culture but is that culture those were again manifestations of culture they were used to glorify the lord with the architecture they used to build huge magnificent temples so that the lord would be worshiped and they would perform exquisite dances to depict the past times of the lord they would have nice music and poetry to sing the glories of the lord so in this way everything was tied to that one thing the lord and shrimad bhagavatam canto 1 chapter 5 verse 22 says idam hi pumsa tapasasrutasya va sveshtasya suktasya ca buddhi daktayo अविच्युतोर्थ कविर्निपी यदुतम श्लोक गुणावर्णन सो द इनफालिबल पर्पस ऑफ ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ टैलेंट्स इज टू कम टू द पॉइंट ऑफ ग्लोरिफाइंग द लॉर्ड द रियल कल्चर मीन्स टू डिवोट आवर सेल्स टू द लॉर्ड एंड देन दैट डिवोशन विल गेट मैनिफेस्टेड इन ब्यूटिफुल आर्ट फॉर्म्स ऑफ पोएट्री डांस आर्किटेक्चर म्यूजिक एंड अ मिरियड वेज so that's what culture is all about so religion and culture cannot be separated at any point of time if you have just culture without religion that's just like a a dilapidated remains of a great city that once flourished or decorations on a dead body so the life of the whole thing comes from the fact that we as souls are eternally servitors loving servants of krishna and our love is expressed in all these art forms so that's what we have to come back to so to love the lord and that starts with chanting hari krishna and reading the books bhagavad gita shrimad bhagavatam nectar of devotion there are i mean innumerable books and shri prabhupada has translated the essence of them all in bhagavad gita shrimad bhagavatam chaitanya charitamrita nectar of devotion nectar of instruction so these books have to be studied and uh, one will again come back to the core of the culture all right that's my rant on culture and if you like this video and if you want to share it with someone please uh, hit the share button and hit the like hit the subscribe subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you in the next video hari krishna